All right, this is the tutorial for constructing a rotation. Um, for the purposes of this construction, I'm going to rotate this object, triangle ABC. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in the counterclockwise direction, which is the positive direction. Um, if you had a protractor, you could rotate any number of degrees. Um, in New York State, we don't use protractors on our Regents exam, so the only options available would be 30, 45, 9, uh, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and, uh, and multiples of 30 degrees and 45 degrees. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to just rotate this thing 90 degrees in the positive direction, which is counterclockwise. I'm going to start by drawing some paths of rotation by putting my point of my compass on point P, which is the center of rotation. And I'm just going to draw an arc right through A. I'm going to bring it around. And then I'm going to do the same thing with B. I'm going to create an arc through B. Okay, so these are the paths of my rotation. Now I just need to figure out how far to go along these paths is 90 degrees. So in order to do that, I'm going to draw a line that connects A and P. I'm actually going to extend it past P because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a perpendicular line through P and where that line intersects this arc that'll be 90 degrees. If I wanted to do 45 degrees then after I drew my perpendicular line I would have to bisect that angle that would give me 45 degrees. If I wanted to do 60 degrees I could create an equilateral triangle with side length AP. Wherever that matched up, that would give me 60 degrees. Uh, and then if I wanted to do 30 degrees, I could create that equilateral triangle and then actually bisect that angle. That would give me 30 degrees. So obviously those are much more complicated constructions. So for now, I'm just going to do 90 degrees. So now what I need to do is I have got a line and I've got a point on that line and I need to to create a perpendicular line through that point. So I need to create a segment where P would be the midpoint so I'm gonna mark on either side and then I'm and so now I have a segment that has P as its midpoint so now I'm gonna do perpendicular bisector of that segment. All of these constructions, basic constructions can be found on my YouTube channel if you need to brush up on them I need to do a little bit more work on that bottom arc there we go and now if I connect that line right here where they intersect that's going to be A prime. So that's where the perpendicular line and the arc, the path of rotation, intersect. That's going to be my A prime. And now I'm going to repeat that process with B. So I'm going to have to extend this a little bit. I can already see it's not going to be far enough. I'm going to extend this a little bit. And now again, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line through P these uh, constructions do tend to get a little messy those points okay and where that intersected that became B prime and to construct C, I don't need to repeat this process. I could if I wanted to, but I can actually use my original triangle to create C prime. So if I measure the distance from A to C, and I copy that distance from A prime, it's 
going to be out here somewhere. And then I measure the distance from B to C. And recreate that distance from B prime where those two marks intersect, that's going to be C prime. So now all I have to do is connect my points. And there you have it, a rotated triangle ABC about point P, 90 degrees in the positive direction.